madness. You, like Crazy. Said, you, you want to go watch a bad defender? Go and watch Eric Dyer. That right there is a terrible centre back who's getting. Listen to this, right? We're giving this guy a new contract. Bro, what? listen, you're giving him a new contract, bruv. Like, yeah. we got Lissandro Martinez, yeah. Like, nobody... Remember when he came to the league, all the slander, all, all the little man jokes yeah. that everyone had? All them jokes disappeared. Best centre-back in the league, comfy. Man United lose 7-0, all of a sudden, man got jokes. You ain't had jokes for the last six months, but now you got jokes. And it's like every this, time... This is it, bro. Like, it's pathetic. There becomes an obstacle. So, like, he's... Oh, he's too small for the Premier League. He overcome that. Oh, he's not good on the ball. He's overcome that. Oh, well, he's not a leader. He's overcome that. Like whenever, whenever they, whenever there's a, a player is good and they don't like it, they, they always find the next narrative to criticize a player. So, like for instance, um, Martinez not good, overcome that. Not good on the ball, overcome that. Can win headers, he's overcome mm. that. Can't play out from the back, he's overcome that. He's too small. They they keep finding an agenda against players, but they keep pushing these agendas to the side. In my opinion, <coughs> he's the best centre-back in the world right now on the ball. In my opinion. I, I, I don't see another... The only other defender who I think all-round package is very, very good that I've watched in, um like... I wouldn't say he's on the same level with Martinez, but I really like Arejo at Barcelona. I think he's quality. But I take Martinez over him every day. Like, I, the, the guy... You can... De Gea pings it into him. Not like a little pass... He fires it into him every time and he just touches it and plays it out. You fire that into, into Davis, into Dyer, into Sanchez, it's bouncing off of him like a bowling ball. Mm. Like, so what's Saliba done post-World Cup? What has Saliba done post-World Cup? He's not he even been shoot. the best centre-back at Arsenal this season. He hasn't. He hasn't. Gabriel's been better than him and he's a bozo anyway. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Like, nice like Saliba's been there. This is what rattled me more than anything. Me and Lee Gunner was doing a Sean Monday, right? And um, who's that Arsenal guy that's always on talk sport? Martin Keown, right? <laughs> Listen to this. Martin <laughs> Keown put Saliba. They did an Arsene Wenger slash Mikel Arteta's combined 11. And they put Saliba in over Tony Adams. Wow. Well. Are you out of your mind? Saliba has been in the Premier League six months. Tony Adams is one of the best English defenders the Premier League has ever seen. Mm. They put Odegaard in over Fabregas, over Corzola, and they put Saka in over players like Alexis Sanchez. Yeah, that's wild, isn't it? When you think what Alexis did for Arsenal Football Club, yeah, it's actually mad. He's like Michael it? Jordan in like the Chicago yeah. Bulls when he first got there. He had the whole, the whole ship, the whole city on his back. It's crazy. Like, honestly, how can you put Odegaard in there over Cesc Fabregas, over Santi Cazola? Mm. Even Robert Pires could play Cam. You're right. You're right. It's crazy, you know. Like, and somebody, literally, somebody, and it's not somebody, even one full season as well because the season's not done. These guys could still end up with no trophy. And yeah. man's put them man in front of them. It's crazy, isn't it? It's, honestly, that talk sport, the worst one of them all is Gabriel Bonhoeff. How, how that guy? Yeah, no, it's not even Gabby, funny. How, how that guy's a pundit? It, it, it's not even like it, it's not even funny. Every time mm. we lose, he's out in us. Like, bro, you played for Villa. You did nothing. Like, you're not even. You shouldn't even be a pundit. Like, you're you're you. Oh, you didn't even score as many goals as Darren Bent, bro. Darren Bent had a better career at Villa than you, and you're and you're Aston Villa's all-time top goal scorer. Let that sink in in the Premier League. He's Aston Villa's all-time top goal scorer. He's the worst pundit I think I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> Without a doubt. Do you like do you like a bottle of <laughs> Bro, that's my guy still. Gabby's my guy, but bro, listen. Yeah, he, he might be sound. To... He might be he sound outside. To get cooked, though. He does deserve to get cooked. He does. I don't care because he says some wild things in it. I can't. I can't condone anything that Gabby says, bro. Like, I'm happy for people to cook him for his opinions because they're wild, isn't it? No, like, he's, what is he said to, the other day? He, um, he said something about, about Ben Davis. And I, I, I sat there, I watched the video five or six times. I don't know, he's trolling. And then I watched it again. And it was like, now I like to think Ben Davis is a steady Eddie, right? You're going to get six or seven out of ten every week. And he was saying that he, I can't, I've got to, I'll find a clip later and send it to you. Now he he might be a sound guy. I don't know. I've never met him, but he's got he's got to be trolling fans. 
Like Ooh, Gabby, brother, I'm I genuinely believe that Gabby says this thing on purpose to wind people up because it don't make sense. Well, it's working because I'm sitting here fucking losing yeah, my shit. Bro, when he says some things, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> bro, bro, like even some of his May United takes, I am sure that he says it on purpose to wind people up because he can't believe that, bro. He got bro, because nah, he can't believe it. Like real talk, he can't believe it in it because Gabby's. A cool brother, bro. And when I tell you something, yeah, when I hear him say certain things, yeah, I'm thinking, nah, he this is violent, bro. He's doing it on purpose. I he's doing it, but he has to be. I don't care. This is why, like, when men are cooking him, I can't defend him, bro. Yeah, I can't it's... defend him in it because, bro, some of the stuff he says, if I didn't know him, yeah, I wouldn't like him either. You know, <laughs> so bro, like, everyone's, everyone's got them, everyone's got a friend who's got wild footballing opinions. Bro, like the other day, one of my friends was telling me, up, he was telling me Joe Cole was better at Liverpool than at Chelsea. And I was like, just get out of here. Like, yeah, like, but that that's, he, he, he's, he might be sound, but like, surely he's doing things to rattle. The other one is that Simon Jordan, mate, honestly. Yeah, but Simon minute, Jordan, yeah, it depends on the topic because sometimes he's actually a godsend, yeah, because yeah, he he's is. the only one to he be consent. You know, like when, that. So, when it comes to talking about being, from an owner's perspective, he is. But one week he's praising Daniel Levy, the next week he's criticizing him. Like yeah. keep it, it the, the the meter readings going left and right quicker than yeah, the reason them, why mate. he'll do that is remember Jordan used to be an owner because <clears throat> he used to be an owner. Yeah, he'll do his little owners union thing, but then sometimes you'll kind of you get me. Like I kind of get it with him in it. Like I kind of get it. Like he yeah, tries some, to some of the times be devil's advocate most of the time in it, but he's the only one that actually serves these men up something. You know, like that. So. I don't really yeah. mind Simon Jordan. I like him more than I don't like him because I agree with him more than I don't agree with him. But when I don't agree with him, I really don't agree with him. Yeah, it's the same as me. From an yeah. owner's perspective, I like the fact that he comes across and says, this is how we used to do it at Palish. Like, we'd refund we'd, we'd refund tickets and that. You'd never see Levy refunding tickets. No chance. We've yeah. just broke... Listen to this, right? We have just broke our own rule. We've just broke um some sort of... Legislation in the stadium, we're only allowed five gigs a year, right? We've just broke our own rule that Levy put in place. Yeah. So now we've got six Beyonce concerts. Oh, shit. Like, <clears throat> is that what happened? I didn't understand it. Yeah, so it was all over, to, it was all over the, the, um, the, um, it was all over Twitter today and our, our fan base, because 99.9% of them are clapped anyway, are saying, oh, Le Levy done this, Levy done that. And he's basically there's a there's a rule or, or legislation being put in place that we can only have a certain amount of gigs every single year. So like okay. a Lady Gaga concert, a Whiskey concert, it's a gig. That's right. we've only done five a year. That that, that yeah, that's the license thing. He, he just broke our own license. But, but did they not serious? know that? Did they not know that at the time? What happened? Yeah, of course he did. He broke the license. 